Well, here come the teams at the Riverside Stadium, led out by our uh, match officials this afternoon. The Hornets, uh, led by Craig Kafka, joining us in the UK. It's, uh, it's audio only this afternoon and for a number of territories overseas as well, because this game is being broadcast by the EFL's uh, international broadcast partners. If you're in an, an exempt territory, then you will be seeing pictures and uh, hearing us now. Nice ball by Atpon. Releases force, force his shot, good parry by Backman. Force again into the side netting and wide. Lovely little ball from Atpon. Release Marcus Force. Daniel Backman though was equal to it. It remains goalless. Just short of the penalty area. Quickly infield. It bounces off Kafka. It will come to Cameron Archer. His left footed shot blocked by Gaspar and volleyed away from a, the right hand post from by Hamza Chowdhury. This was that uh, Archer shot which uh, deflected off Gaspar and then what well, was going wide. But Hamza Chowdhury made sure by following the ball away. Middlesbrough have had a fair bit of possession but it's been very even with attacking football. Gaspar pokes it forward and Davis lays it after Martins. Watford got four forward. Martins into the penalty. Matthias Martins scoops it over the bar. Well, he did everything right with his pace, Matthias Martins. Lovely touch from Keenan Davis. Martins burst into the box, but then leaning back, scooped it over the bar. It's just his indecision, his draw, he's, he has done everything right. Comes off a defender as Kone and Ferreira went to meet it. And Middlesbrough clear, and Archer is one against one against Kamara, and he's beaten Hassan Kamara. It's Cameron Archer into the penalty area as he's shown too much to Batman, who makes the save. Akpo on the follow up, he misses the first effort, but nods it in at the second attempt. And it's Middlesbrough 1, Watford 0. I don't even know if Tuba Akpom knows how he got that second opportunity. The biggest mistake is leaving Archer and Kamara one on one at the back. When we're attacking, you still have to focus on your defending. Backman did ever so well after a too big a touch from Archer prevented him from scoring. But you see how the attacking numbers, that's a 1v1 attack and they've run from their own 18-yard box to help Cameron Archer and at bombs scuffed it in from the side of his head but it was accurate enough back in field to Hackney now Housen Housen threads it forward it'll reach uh, Marcus Force and he makes it two in stoppage time at the end of the first half tucking it under Daniel Batman when they win the ball back their players are finding far too much space you see Sierra Alta gets caught square on that occasion force coming in off the line comes inside on his left foot patient and composed to slot it into the net both goals have been our own wrongdoing really whether it be a lack of concentration or a lack of organisation Stefan plays a poor ball out to Giles, which is intercepted by Martins. And Martins attacks Ryan Giles and plays it into the box. Looking for Saar, comes back to Martins on the edge of the penalty. Adiemo with a shot over the bar. Instant effort, instant shot from Tony Adiemo. Smith goes outside him. Here is Tommy Smith. Crossing opportunity towards the far post. Headed back across goal and volleyed over. It was McGree at the far post and Archer couldn't get over it. Middlesbrough's right back. Smith to the far post, so difficult to defend against. Edge of the penalty area, this is Hackney, who dances around Aspria into the penalty, it shoots, Batman saves now, Chowdhury blocks it, still bouncing around and Kamara turns it over his own bar for another corner. Edge of the box, back out to the corner taker, Ryan Giles, in swinging corner, across towards the far post, and it's McNair at the far post who volleys it into the ground and over the bar. Now Kamara. To thread it forward for Adiemo. Nice layoff for Saar. Saar finds Adiemo again. Into the penalty area, Toby Adiemo. Cuts back onto his right foot and it's saved at the near post by Stefan. Just didn't have the power to trouble the goalkeeper at the near post there, Toby Adiemo. And Saar attacking the edge of the penalty area. Full for Haruj. His touch was a little heavy and the goalkeeper makes the save at his feet. First touch was a little heavy there from Emily Haruj. We've got cleverly missing, looser missing. Those three, though just those three midfielders would probably be the, in the top ten midfielders in this division. First half goals from uh, Tuba Akpom and Marcus Force 
send Middlesbrough above the Hornets into third place in the championship full-time at the Riverside. Middlesbrough 2, Watford 0.